In March, we told you the story of Team Colin, a class of first graders in Hudsonville, Illinois, that raised money to buy a special adaptive bike. The response from the community was overwhelming, and Team Colin reached its goal for not just one bike, but two. It's wonderful. As Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta shows us, Colin and his mother invited a special guest to check out his new wheels so they could say thank you in person. Hey, First grader Colin Worley is all smiles as he tries out his new ride through the halls of Hudsonville Elementary and Junior High School. Colin and his mother Deandria are still overwhelmed by the generosity of the community that raised enough money for not only one but two adaptive bikes. One for home and one to keep here at school. I was actually speechless. I didn't realize how fast the response was. I mean, because it's like one minute, Colin's on TV, and then it was within, what, 24 hours? We hit the goal, and it was just amazing. It's that kind of support that helped Team Colin double their goal. Knowing that these kids actually did something, and then the community stepping up and doing something the way they did, it was... It was... Uh, good. He's laughing. <laughs> One person who really wanted to see Colin's first ride was Scott McDaniel from Terre Haute. Scott wrote a check from Scott's Custom Colors to buy the second bike to make it easier on the family. And today's ride made it all worth it. Oh, very special. That was just awesome to see this young man be able to move and, and uh, go up and down the hallways. And it's uh, just, it brings tears to my heart. It was a time for the family to appreciate Colin's progress and all the people who have helped him along the way. From Colin's classmates to the community that donated, the family has one thing they would like to say. We thank you from the bottom of our heart. We appreciate everything you've done. It just goes to show that there's still kindness out there. In Hudsonville, Illinois, Mike Latta, News 10. Very nice. Cullen's family says the generosity has not stopped there. They have been contacted by others who want to help with expenses, such as braces and special shoes to meet the needs of Cullen's growing body.